best age range for screening is 55 to 69. That was the target age range that was studied in a large European study that showed that PSA can reduce the mortality of prostate cancer. It doesn't mean that younger than 55 um, should or shouldn't be screened. It just means that we don't have strong evidence in that age group. And that age group should probably be um, really determined more by higher risk features um, such as ethnicity and family history. There are two important risk groups that people be should be aware of uh, in the prostate screening topic. One is family history. If, if you have a family history of prostate cancer, your incidence would be increased. And to be specific, it's usually your father, paternal uncle, or brother. Um, and the behaviors can be different. So that's a common question. If your father had a particularly high stage, doesn't mean that would happen to the relative, but earlier screening at a younger age is more common. Also, in our country, African-American race is a higher risk group where we generally screen at a younger age um, and more frequently. Generally, the examiner uh, would do a digital exam or a finger exam of the prostate, uh, which it can be slightly uncomfortable, but it literally takes about 10 seconds to, to get the information you need. Uh, the blood testing is generally done often with a panel of other common tests and, and comes you know, a few days later, so often there's a callback period where you have to wait on the test to be run. Uh, and then, again, if it's normal, the, the ba basic decision is should it be tested again in one or two years. Um, if it's indeterminate or clearly elevated, then there may be some discussion about when to repeat it and then ultimately make a, a decision about if a biopsy is needed. Prostate cancer is one of the more common cancers in men, if not the most common. It, it is slow growing. Uh, the symptoms often occur very late, and so there's been an effort for over 20 years to try to detect that better with blood testing.